What is up, guys? I'm back. I know it's been a minute. I know I always say the same shit, but, you know, I've been busy. I've been getting this comedy thing going, you know, putting in putting in the time to get better and writing and, and getting on stage and performing and getting shows. So I've been busy. I've been busy. I'm sorry. But I'm back with another video because I got some updates for you. I got some updates. Cool stuff. Like cool stuff, you know. I got upgrade. I got a car. I got a new car. I got a new car. So yeah, my 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 old car had a 2006 Honda Accord. Finally died on me. I mean it didn't die, but the alternator died and then it had just a bunch of other issues like the windows didn't go down anymore. Power steering pump was out. No AC. It was just all bad, you know, the, the the stereo would turn on and off. It was just not the business, you know, like my car was such a bucket that I used to have to drive it with no music on just to make sure nothing new was clicking on it, you know, make sure it wasn't making any new noises. So, yeah, I finally died and I like I thought about just repairing it. And then I was just like, man, I just need to upgrade already. So I made the upgrade. I ended up getting a basically the same car, but just newer. I got a 2019 Honda Accord now. And uh, yeah, it's been putting in work. It's been getting me, you know, it's been getting me there. It's been getting me where I need to go. But um, one of the messed up things about where I live and where I park is that there's like a, a dryer vent that's pointed right at my car. So like I can wash it and and, and the very next day it'll be all dusty. So. I just got a dusty new car, you know, it's what it is. I had not done any of like the three major comedy uh, venues, uh, that being the Laugh Factory, the Hollywood Improv and the Comedy Store, obviously. And as of today, I, I've done all three of those clubs already. Um, and it's been amazing. You know, I've, I've gotten some amazing opportunities like I've gotten a couple of uh, cold opens at the Hollywood Improv in the in the lab, in the smaller room and in the main room. And that was a really dope experience. And then I did a set of the night mic at the comedy store in the belly room. And I did really good. Well, I mean, it was weird because I was a little buzzed. So when I went up there, I went up there slurring at first. But then I've done my sets enough times that I kind of just hit like auto mode after a little bit. And uh, I, I caught right back in it and I did great. Like some of the people on the show after me were kind of like talking about me. They were like, I can't believe I'm going to lose to this chair, motherfucker, you know, not in those words. But yeah, they were kind of like acknowledging that I had done a good job. And then this dude named Jackson Banks, I had never heard of him, went up there and just fucking killed it. And, uh, yeah, your, your boy finished like a happy second, maybe. I don't know. That was kind of like the word in the streets there. Uh, people were telling me after that, they heard I did really good at the show. So that was cool. Hey, I'm just waiting to get up on potluck, you know, uh, I've been signing up w with no luck, but, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for my opportunity to get up in it, you know? The most latest show that I had uh, at a, at the major clubs was at the Laugh Factory. I had a a show. I was on the Spanglish show with Paul Rodriguez. There's like a, a show at the Laugh Factories on Thursdays, 7.45. And it's like showcasing up and coming Latin comics and some like the established comics in the scene right now. So that was hella dope. Um, hopefully they will have me back. It was like a great experience. You know, I'll show you guys like a bit of it. I was at a, li a liquor store recently, and the lady that was helping me out, she started asking me about my injury. You know, she was like, "What happened to you?" <laughs> I said, "Oh, I got shot at a Halloween party." And she said, "Oh, spooky." <laughs> I'm like, "Hey, you're pretty scary. You're pretty scary." You know? She was like, "No, Rocky." I was like, "Nah, I'm, I'm paralyzed from the chest down." She was like, "But when you go poo poo, you get up." I said, "What?" Nah, like I don't call time out on my injury when I need to go to the bathroom. I just jump on the toilet. What you mean? Yo, you guys ever been sitting on the toilet so long that you start feeling your legs? My legs be like, cortale, no, cortale. There you go, just a little snippet of uh, you know some of the jokes that I've been working on and. Uh, 
yeah, that was a cool experience. I actually, uh, as of tonight, came, just got back from doing a mic. It was like a, kind of like a best set of the night mic at the North End. Shout out the North End for having me. Uh, Shay Freeman, um, Liz, you guys are dope. And uh, yeah, so I, they had like a, a mic, $100 uh, first place. And yeah, boy, took it down, you know, have a, I, mean, I would say I have a pretty solid five minute set that I've done enough times where it's kind of like, you know, I have it down. And so, um, yeah. And like, I, I, like I said, in the last, in the last post, I, I won like the first comedy competition that I entered and I ended up uh, winning that second competition that I had mentioned. And that was like a, a, a mic where you get a spot at the lab at the Hollywood Improv and I ended up winning a spot on that. So what can I say? Your boy is funny. You know, you guys gonna have to check out a show if you're in the LA area. I'm gonna try to kinda like keep uh like kinda like a little consistent vlog on this channel. I know I've said it I know I've said it hundreds of times, it seems like at this point. But you know, we're gonna try to get these videos in because, yeah, I feel like uh, a lot of the things that I am doing are interesting. And I feel like, um, you know, it's an interesting perspective coming from me uh, doing some of the things that I'm doing, living with my spinal cord injury and then kind of dealing with some of the stuff when it comes to that. Because I have been not to complain because I feel like when it comes to stand up comedy and my chair, I've gotten a bunch of opportunities that I feel like I maybe wouldn't have gotten. Um, or maybe I just kind I kind of got some people's attention that I wouldn't have gotten if I wasn't in the chair, but I also feel like I, I, I've been losing some opportunities because of it. Cause I feel like, especially the people that don't really know me, they like, they just see me sign up or, or that type of thing that don't know how I roll. You know, I just feel like kind of they, uh, some people take the mentality of like, I don't want to deal with this chair stuff, you know, when it, whether it comes like. Because they have like stairs or they have like a, a high stage with stairs. And, and and like I said, this is not going to stop me. So if you don't know me and if I sign up for one of your shows, let me go up. Let me do my thing because, uh, you know, stairs or a stage is not going to stop me. I'm going to do my thing. I'm doing my thing. So all these major clubs, get your ramps ready because your boy is coming um, and if you guys are in the LA area, catch a show, follow me on Instagram, D Alvarez TV. I post all the shows that I'm going to be on, on there. Make sure you uh, subscribe on this channel, like, leave me a comment. Let me know maybe, uh, some of the cities I'm going to try to get out of LA to some like cities around, you know, whether it be like Southern California, lower down, like San Diego, maybe up in San Francisco, Maybe even like uh, Las Vegas. Um, I don't know. Arizona, maybe. Who knows? You know, I'm just out here trying to like try these jokes outside of L.A. And, and trying to get opportunities where I can. So, yeah, if you're a booker, if you're in L.A., if you have a show and you happen to catch this video, hit your boy up because we trying to get it in. You know, appreciate you guys checking out the video. Um more stuff coming soon. I'm I'm kind of like going to try to keep this consistent. I ended up actually going to Austin too and I had a great time out there. Maybe I'll show, uh, shoot in some clips from that. Here, son. <laughs> they didn't need help. How about that? <laughs> Thank you. Got this bitch, hey. son. Say something, eh? Hey, say something. Hey. Wow. Gators, they out here. Hey, this one right there, look. Oh, look at the cute little boat. Oh, yeah, I ain't doing no paddling right now. I'm the lazy one. We're on the under the back bridge. You can hear them. Okay. Whole hogs, barbecue, Korean. Mm -hmm. 
Texas. Hey. It was a dope time. New video coming soon. Shaman up.